Hi folks, uh, this is Mr. Bullock and uh, this geometry lesson is identifying uh, pairs of lines and angles. So let's go ahead and begin here. So uh, simplify uh, the expression if possible. So these are the board problems. So here it uh, looks like 5 can go into 20 four times and then 2x is downstairs. I'll take away two of them upstairs. Uh, over here 3 will go into 9 and 12. Uh, 1a takes away one of those and so on. And on this one here, uh, 5 goes into this one once, 5 goes into this one seven times. 5 has to go to, into everything in the top because the denominator is uh, attached with everything in the numerator right there. So you should get those as your answers right there. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and identify. That was for my classes. Uh, um, so identify pairs of lines and angles. So here we go. Two lines that do not intersect are either parallel or skew. Parallel lines you've heard of before. Uh, are lines that are in the same plane, so they're coplanar and they don't intersect. Skew lines are not coplanar lines that don't intersect. I'll show you a picture of those in just a second. Parallel planes are like your ceiling and your floor, or opposite walls, they would be like parallel planes, so they don't intersect, okay? Um, and so here's a picture right here. So uh, let's see, I got an email from, uh, I teach a SAT class also. Um, uh, anyways, okay, um, uh, these lines right here are parallel, okay, and, um, and because of these red arrows, they say they're parallel. We'll explain that in just a second. And then uh, plane T is parallel to plane U because they wouldn't intersect right here. And can you see line K right here being, it won't intersect line M, but they're not parallel. Those ones are the skew ones. They're in different planes, and they wouldn't intersect, okay? So, um, uh, let's see, so uh, these arrows uh, signify that lines are parallel, and the symbol with two bars next to each other, that's a shorthand symbol for parallel. Remember, upside down capital T is for perpendicular. Okay, segments could be parallel as long as they have the arrows. Rays could be parallel as long as they have the arrows, so uh, that's all that says. Okay, so think of each segment in this figure as a part of a line. Which line or lines or plane or planes in the figure appear to fit the description? Okay, so what line or lines are parallel to line CD right here that contain point A? Okay, looks like this line right here is parallel and it contains point A. This line contains point A, but it's not parallel. And so this line contains point A also, but it's not parallel. So you can say line AB or line uh, BA, it doesn't matter. I, um, they're the same line, line AB, I said. Okay, line or lines that are skew to CD and contain point A. Okay, well, here's one that's skew to it. AG is skew to it. It's in a different plane, but it would never intersect it. Same with uh, HA. HA is also skew to it also right there. That's what the uh, our book suggests. And then one of my students said, well, what about if there was a line going through EA? Yeah, EA would also be a skew line also if there was a line right there, um, but th they didn't include that in, in our textbook. So, okay, lines perpendicular to line CD that contain point A. Okay, so containing point A perpendicular is this dude right here, okay, because of that right angle right there. So line DA or line AD with a line symbol on top of it. Okay. Planes. Planes parallel to plane EFG. Okay, EFG is on the bottom. So that's this bottom little rectangle or square on the bottom. Looks like it's a square. So a plane that's parallel to the bottom would be the top one. So you can say plane ABC or ADC or CB or I don't know, CAB, any three non-collinear points that are in this plane on the top. I think I said plane ABC. Yeah. All right, so postulates. Here's some postulates, you guys. So a parallel postulate says this. Uh, if there's a line and a point, notice the line is purple and the point is red, and a point not on the line, then uh, there exists exactly one line, the green line, through that point, that red point, that's parallel. Notice I have the gold parallels to the given line, okay? So if there's this point that's not on this line, there's only one line that goes through that that's parallel to the purple line. Okay, uh, and this perpendicular postulate says uh, this except perpendicular. If there's a line and a point that's not on the line, there's one line that goes through that point that makes it perpendicular to the purple line right there. Okay, identify parallels and perpendicular lines. Okay, so have this picture right here, and I forgot to insert this, and so I'm going to do that right now. Uh, I'm going to make it a little bit wider so we can see it a little bit better. I don't want it that big. Make it too big. Okay. Um, Right here, uh, it was hard to see with the book's uh, picture right there, so I highlighted it. 
That line is parallel to this line. There should be arrows on this right there. And there also should be a right angle right here. Okay, uh, right there is a right angle. Okay, you guys can see that. So name a pair of parallel lines. Okay, the parallel lines are these guys. This line right here and this line right here. So it depend, you can say line AD, line MD, line DM, and so on, and then FE, okay? All right, so that's uh, that one right there. And then name a pair of perpendicular lines. Okay, perpendicular lines are formed by that right angle right there. So line um, uh, MD would be perpendicular to line BF, okay? So that would be uh, that guy right there. And then, um, and then it says, is FC, or I'm sorry, FE, FE. Here's FE parallel to AC. No, they're not parallel because there's only one line that goes through point M that's parallel to this line right there. And we already said that one. It was line uh, MD right there. Okay, so no, um, it's not parallel because MD is parallel to FE. And by the parallel postulate we just discussed, there's only one line that goes through point M that's going to be parallel. All right, okay, so here's some, uh, some more definitions, you guys, and this picture uh, uh, wraps it up pretty good with this. So, uh, and, and there are two lines. All these pictures have two lines cut by a transversal, two lines cut by this transversal. See, the T is the transversal and all, okay? Corresponding angles are this, you guys. One is inside the two lines, and one is outside the two lines. And corresponding angles are this. I think of this as if I could slide this line right down on top of this one, two would slide right down into the position of six. They would be called corresponding angles. Okay? Alternate interior angles are they alternate on the side of the transversal. One's on one side, one's on the other side. And they're inside the two other lines right there. That's why they're called alternate interior. These guys are called alternate exterior. They alternate on the transversal. One's on one side, one's on the other side. And they're outside the two lines. They're alternate exteriors. These guys are called consecutive interior angles. My old geometry book called them same-sided interior angles, okay? So I like that name better, actually, same-sided interior angles, because they're on the same side. But this book calls them consecutive interior angles. All right, so, um, so identify all angle relationships. Okay, so identify all the corresponding angles over here. Okay, remember, corresponding angles are if I squish these two lines together, one would go right on top of, one would go right on top of five. So one and five are corresponding. Two would slide right over on six, so they're corresponding. Three and seven, four and eight. So those are all my corresponding angles. Okay, that's that one right there. Okay, alternate interior angles. Okay, that would be like four and five and two and seven. They alternate on the sides of the transversal. All right, alternate exterior. Way out here, outside is alternating exterior <laughs> with uh, six right there, and then one and eight are alternate exteriors. And then consecutive interiors, they're the same sided interiors. So like four and seven uh, and two and five. Those guys would be uh, consecutive interior angles.